Welcome everyone, today we're going to be talking Pokemon Go, we're going to be talking Generation 2 Pokemon and specifically Egg Pokemon for Generation 2. As we know we've already got 2, 5 and 10 kilometer eggs in the game, but we know all the Pokemon that hatch from those eggs for Gen 1. However, what new Pokemon will be added in when Gen 2 come around and which category will they be fitting in? Well if we are clever here and look at the Pokemon in Gen 1, we can find the equivalent Pokemon in Gen 2 and I'm going to be letting you guys know today Day, which Pokemon we should be hatching from which eggs when it comes to Gen 2 in Pokemon Go. Now I did a video recently telling you guys which candies you should keep hold of in preparation for Gen 2 because a lot of Gen 1 Pokemon have evolutions that turn into Gen 2 Pokemon that aren't currently in the game. So I'm going to be updating you guys on some of those candies as well right here and also my egg progress and you guys can let me know how you're getting on too. But before we get into these exciting eggs, a big shout out to Audible that are sponsoring today's video. They've hooked myself and you guys up with a 30 day trial where you can get your very first audiobook for free which is amazing. There's actually a few Pokemon books up on Audible as well which you guys can check out and if you use my link down below in the description at audible.com slash you can check out your very first Pokemon book or any book you desire on Audible for free. Audible are actually the world's biggest providers of audiobooks and if you download the Audible app you can take those books wherever you want. You guys may have seen a vlog when Claire and I went to Ibiza a few months ago now over the summer and Claire and I chilled by the pool, plugged in our earphones and we could use Audible to listen to podcasts, books, audio shows, literally anything that was available on their catalogue. So I thought if you guys had any books you wanted to listen to or going on any long car journeys, going on any holidays, this is the perfect time. So I'll leave that link down below in the description, audible.com slash A 30 day trial, you get your first book for free, so go and check it out and enjoy. So I told you guys I'd update you all on how my eggs are going. At the moment I only have 2 and 5k eggs being incubated. My 10 kilometer eggs are hatching in a specific 10 kilometer egg video very soon, so I'm not going to give away what happened there. Now my Zubat candy is looking strong, 230 almost. I've got some great IV Zubats as well, which means I can evolve with Zubat into a Golbat all the way into a Crobat and Pokemon Go Gen 2 comes out. We've got 146 candies for Poliwag to evolve into Poliworld, to then evolve into Politide when he comes out as well. Still have got over 100 candies for Onix waiting for Steelix. And I definitely need to find a Scyther Nest to get ready for Scizor that evolves from Scyther. So that's just some of my Pokemon getting ready for Gen 2, but let's stop beating around the bush. Let's get into Gen 2 eggs, baby. We're going to be kicking off with the 2 kilometer eggs. And I'm going to be showing you guys the Gen 1 Pokemon and how we work out what we'll be getting then from Gen 2. So to kick off for 2k eggs, obviously we've got the starters, Charmander, Squirtle and Bulbasaur, which means for Gen 2 we're going to have Chikorita, Cyndaquil and Totodile. I adore all of these starters. They'll be in 2k eggs and if you get them, you're going to be excited, you're going to want those candies, it's going to be absolutely awesome. It'd be interesting to know from you guys which starter you'd pick when Gen 2 does come out, so leave that down below in the comment section. Now obviously in those 2k eggs you've got a lot of Pokemon which when they hatch out were like Damn it, we don't need them for anything. They're good for candies and to evolve. We've got Caterpie, Weedle, Pidgey, Rattata, Spearo, and uh, Zubat as well. So whenever those pop out, we're kind of like, eh. Whatever, we definitely don't need any of them. So what would those equivalents sort of more boring basic Gen 2 Pokemon be? Well, we're going to have Sentry, we're going to have Hoot Hoot, we're going to have Ladybug, we're going to have Spinark, and those guys are going to be the sort of more basic ones. So there's only 100 in Pokemon in Gen 2, there's 151 in Gen 1, so there's not going to be quite as many Gen 2 Pokemon to put in the eggs. But those are going to be the more basic Pokemon. Obviously, they'll be exciting when the game first comes out, but after a while when they hatch, we'll be like, eh, don't really want them. Now, in Gen 1, eggs for 2Ks, we've got some interesting Pokemon. We've got Jigglypuff, we've also got Clefairy. Now these are interesting because they get baby Pokemon in Gen 2. So it makes sense for their baby Pokemon, Clefairy and Igglybuff to be coming out of Gen 2. Two kilometer eggs to match up those Pokemon. However, we've still got a few Pokemon left. We've got Geodude and Magikarp from Gen 1 eggs. So what we're going to get equivalent wise for Gen 2, well, the most logical choice here would be to go for actually Maril, which evolves into Azumarill, a really good water type Pokemon. And then also put Togepi in there as well. A very, very cute Pokemon that actually you always get from an egg when you're playing through gold and silver games. So two awesome Pokemon to add to that two kilometer list for Gen 2. Now for those of you guys that don't know, in Gen 2 they introduced the unknown. 
These are Pokemon that take form of all of the alphabet and also I believe the exclamation mark and question mark. So you can get one unknown, but still need to get all the other variations of unknown. So I think putting these guys in the two kilometer category is the best way of doing it because you could hatch like 25 2k eggs and still not have all the variations of the unknown. So I think putting the unknown in the two kilometer egg category makes sense. You can just spam as many hatchings as possible to make sure you're getting all those variations. Now that wraps up the Gen 2 2 kilometer egg list. So let's move over to the very large, far bigger 5 kilometer egg list. Now, obviously, the 5 kilometer egg category is a big category, my friend. So I'm just going to take you through all the Gen 2 5 kilometer eggs and compare any that I think are extra special. And obviously, 5Ks is the first time we get introduced to regional Pokemon as well. So we can try and work out which regional Pokemon we think will be fitting in for Gen 2 as well. So kicking off the 5 kilometer eggs, the first one is called Chinchu, which is a great Pokemon because it's both water and electric. Electric, a great typing combination there as well. Next up we've got Natu, which is a great psychic Pokemon that evolves into Exatu. Very strong, we see that in Elite Four in Gold and Silver, a great Pokemon for sure. Next up we have two grass type Pokemon called Sunkern and Hoppip. These are pretty much the Oddish and Bellsprout equivalent for Gen 2. So these are going to be the grass type Pokemon you'll be looking out for. Next up one of my favourite evolution chains is Mary that evolves into Flaffy, that evolves into Ampros. I adore Ampros, it's such an amazing electric Pokemon. And I'd probably compare this evolution to the Ghastly to Gengar, or the Abra to Kadabra to Alakazam evolution chain in Gen 1. I absolutely adore Mary. I'm going to be getting excited as anything when they come out of my 5 kilometer eggs, so look out for this, it's amazing. Next up we've got two water type Pokemon. We've got Wooper, which evolves into Quagsire, and we've also got Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet has got tons of HP, it's a bit of a crazy Pokemon, and uh, these two water types will be some great pulls from the 5 kilometer eggs for Gen 2. Next up, we have three Pokemon that within Gen 2, they do not evolve. We've got Murkrow, which is a flying dark type Pokemon. We've got Yanma, a bug Pokemon. And then finally, we've got Apom, who's got like a big hand as its tail. A little bit weird, I know, but more Pokemon for the 5 kilometer category. Now, these next two Pokemon are awesome. We've got Pineco and also Fanfi. Two awesome Pokemon. Pineco, you have to actually headbutt trees in the gold and silver game to get them to fall out to try and capture them. It was a hard Pokemon to get for sure. But both of them have two stages to its evolution chain. Starting off from Fanfi into Dolphan and Pineco into Fortress. Two really cool Pokemon there and I'm looking forward to getting both of them. I told you guys the 5 kilometer egg category was a big one. So more Pokemon we'd throw in there would be Drafig, Sudowoodo, who had to pour the little water on in Pokemon Gold and Silver to wake him up to battle him. We also have Gligar in there. We also have Shuckle in there. And all these Pokemon don't evolve in Gen 2, so they're the single stage Pokemon. So I think they'll be quite rare. So pulling them out of the 5 kilometer category eggs would be a very good pull indeed. We have Snubble that evolve into Grumble as well. So another Pokemon in there. We've got a few more single stage evolutions. We've got Dunsparce, Quillfish, Sneasel, and also Corsola as well. And then a few really cool two stage evolutions. We've got Swinib, which is an ice type Pokemon. We've got Remoraid. And we've also got Teddy Ursa, who evolves all the way into a Eurasing, who's an awesome, huge, giant bear Pokemon. Absolutely love him. Everyone's going to want to get him for sure. Now, two of the fire-type Pokemon that I would always get really hyped for from 5 kilometer eggs would be Ponyta and, obviously, Growlithe. Two great Pokemon. And the equivalent in Gen 2 would be Slugma and also Houndor. So Slugma evolves into Makargo. I'd compare this probably closer to the Ponyta evolution, just because the Houndor Houndor to the Houndoom evolution definitely reminds me of the Growlithe to the Arcane evolution a little bit more. So I love those guys. Gonna get hyped for them in 5Ks. But the final few Pokemon we're gonna be looking at in the 5 kilometer egg category will be the regional Pokemon. So in Gen 1, three regional Pokemon were placed into the 5Ks, one into the 10K. Not too sure to be honest with you guys. But the three that I'm gonna take from the 5K category will be Smeargle, who I'm gonna say will be the European regional Pokemon. We have got Milk Tank that I'm going to say is going to be the America's regional Pokemon. And then we've got Stantler that I'm going to go for the Australia's regional Pokemon. So that's my guess. Could be wrong, could be right. We'll obviously find that when Gen 2 does launch. But 
Finally, that will finish off the five kilometer egg category, moving into the bestest, the biggest, the 10 kilometer egg category. So the most obvious Pokemon to place in the 10K category will be the baby Pokemon of Pokemon that are from Gen 1 in the 10K. So in Gen 1, we've got Jinx, we've got the Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan brothers. We also have Magma and we also have Electabuzz as well. So if you take their baby Pokemon, we've got Tyrogue, we've got Smoochum, we've got Electkid and we've got Magby. So these guys will most likely sit in the 10 kilometer egg category. However, although those guys make a lot of sense and will fit in that category, ones we will not be seeing will be the evolutions of Onix and Scyther that also sit in the 10k category. Remember, egg Pokemon can only ever be the first stage of a Pokemon's evolution growth. So we can't suddenly jump to Scyther's evolution or Onix's evolution. Those are going to have to be done manually through normal evolving. Just remember that. On top of that, in Gen 1, we had fossil Pokemon. The Helix fossil and the Dome fossil in the form of Kabuto and Onomite. There aren't any fossil Pokemon in Gen 2, so there's none to add into the 10k category. Now, I did say that one of the regional Pokemon from Gen 1 fitted into the 10 kilometer category, so I tried to work out who'd fit in best here. I've gone for Mistrevious, one of my favorite Pokemon from Gen 2. Literally Mistrevious and so much mystery surrounding it. It's an awesome looking Pokemon, and I'm gonna make this all of the Asia's regional Pokemon, okay? So that's my guess. We've got a few in here that are also awesome. Skulmary, adding into one of the Pokemon being Steel type that was added into Gen 2. We've also got Mantine as well, and often Mantine is actually pictured with a Remore Raid on its tail as it's swimming around in the ocean. So fun little fact for you guys there. And then one of the strongest most amazing Pokemon I adore from Gen 2, Heracross. He is so great in the attack stat in the Pokemon games. He's amazing, a great bug type Pokemon. And if you pull him from your 10 kilometer eggs, you'll be so happy. The final Pokemon I'm gonna put into this category will be the equivalent of the Dragonite evolution. So I'm getting excited to think about it. We've got Larvitar that evolves into Pupitar, which evolves into Tyranitar. And I think Tyranitar is one of the most amazing Pokemon ever. I absolutely adore him. If I can ever pick him up in any Pokemon games, I always do. He has such a good moveset. He's one of those Pokemon I train to death to get him to eventually evolve and learn all the moves I wanted to in Gen 2. And if you pull a Larvitar from an egg in the 10 kilometers, you will be buzzing. I'll be buzzing. I've never pulled a Dratini from a 10 kilometer egg. So hopefully I get better luck with the Gen 2 10 kilometer eggs. Wow, well that went on a lot longer than I thought it would. We've covered so many Pokemon for Gen 2, 2 kilometers, 5 kilometers, and 10 kilometer eggs. As of yet, no news on when Gen 2 will be out. I thought this would be an awesome video to cover to get us to have an idea of what we can expect from more eggs when they come out with more Pokemon. So, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of all these egg Pokemon. Let me know which one to be looking forward to most when Gen 2 does come out. Stay tuned right here on the channel for more videos. And if you want to see which candies you should be saving up waiting for Gen 2, I'll leave a link down below in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for another Pokemon Go episode where we'll be hatching those 10 kilometer egg guys. It's going to be super exciting. I'll see you guys then.